James Bond is the film par excellence to transmit messages by the enemy within and to all their club members because almost every single being on the planet will watch that movie. And it's so in our faces that it's not even subliminal anymore but right in the open as if they're getting so bold and feeling invincible, their great moment to come being imminent. The title Spectre, amongst others, is an abbreviation of a secret organization in the Alps standing for Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge and Extortion which is, of course, octagon of the Swiss Nazi Templars. And the author, Ian Fleming, lived in Switzerland. He's, uh, he's, using his, he's from the Saint-Croix Templars family. Um, so see my other video about Ian Fleming, and you understand that this is octagon Switzerland. It is true. Accentuated further on in the trailer when James Bond shows a ring for alliance with an octopus on it. So here you can see the uh, this is the uh, the trailer. This is the uh, the James Bond uh, channel, and of course I can't show it to you here uh, for copyright uh, reasons. Uh, I would have a problem with YouTube, of course. So you can have a look at the trailer yourself at their James Bond uh, channel and I put in the links for you. And Octa means eight in Greek as most squids have eight tentacles just as the US enroll total control all seeing eye in the sky of which you'll see more in my other vid about it. So here's the vid with uh, on the same channel. So here's Spectre on Wikipedia. It says it was founded here in 1950. And one, two, three, four, five, well, eight, of course. You can also see the, uh, the alien connection here. As in Ari, aristocracy, born out of the sun from beyond here. And it appeared in Ian Fleming's, here it says Fleming, um, in his first novel, Thunderball, and then in the second film here, Dr. No. And therefore they had the Swiss lady play in it, uh, Ursula Andres, from Bern, the, uh, the land, the, um, um, the canton of the bear, just like in John's Revelations. So it's all it, it's very very much related to Switzerland, and it is octagon. Now you can read the whole thing here. I'll put in the links for you. There you go. And the word spectre is from the Latin spessere meaning to look at, as in spectacles, a spectacle, or a spectator. And it means, it also means a visible, incorpor incorporeal spirit, especially one of terrifying nature, a ghost, apparition, or phantom. It also means some object of terror or dread, a mental image of something unpleasant or menacing, any incorporeal supernatural being that can become visible or audible to human beings. So, and the um, the octopus thing, it, it even looks a bit like a ghost, you know. Then, with that title indicating the arrival of some entity they show this teleportation vortex wormhole for the arrival of souls and most people think it's the inside barrel of a gun and the blood coming down because the uh, a bullet from this barrel just killed somebody or is it rather the blood and genetics of a um, 
needed of a human being to materialize this arrival from it's always coming from up there the blood well it's all indicating this here you know and then that lady in the latest uh, Spectre trailer talking about its skyfall through that vortex and saying you've got a secret something you can't tell anyone because you don't trust anyone well definitely by the swiss laws of silence and masons omerta by the sisters of isis and who's falling anyway who's having a skyfall here hey well look at that picture there in the, in the thing wormhole vortex with well, is not it, it is not a barrel of a gun but it brings death yes and that vortex wormhole fits with the Templars Baphomet meaning Ba the soul when dead Paha to arrive and Meh for pyramid the immortal souls arrive in the pyramid Bapha Meh then in that new Spectre trailer showing an alpine scenery on a lake with snow-topped alpine Swiss mountains, a mysterious voice says, I always knew death would wear a familiar face. While well, we hear a pounding heartbeat, boom, boom, boom. Death, a familiar face it says? Like a world-known politician we all know or something. Now watch this video to understand more of it. Because Bond stands for the Alliance and also for Boas, the Obelisk. As in Jabo, J-A for James and B-O for Bond. Also J-A for Jason, B-O for Bourne, Jason Bourne. Jebo, the two Mason obelisks, Yashin and Boaz, and therefore the voice addressing first Bond and later James for each equivalent obelisk and saying, You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Well, this is definitely referring to the Mason Ordo Apkaos. With that hurricane while well, within the bond of the order, the order, it seems nothing more than just dancing and playing with us. Also saying the arrival takes place in the middle of times of turmoil, like a kite dancing in a hurricane. And all this is being said in a two minute trailer of Mr. Freemason Bond of Switzerland. Then the mysterious and penetrating voice of the trailer addresses James for Yashin and says Welcome James, it's been a long time and finally here we are. Simultaneously showing a mason lodge. In and right after it shows a bullet hole in the exact same configuration as the octopus octagon seal on the ring of alliance with spectre on it for that arrival of whatever it is and 007 the number of the pyramid of Baphomet which means the soul arrives in the pyramid ba fa -ha -me, with the three trinity for the side of the pyramid for Isis, Horus and Seth and four for its base and the four elements See my video on Ian Fleming for more. And you see, this is the same image as the bullet hole in the glass. And a um, octopus, it, sh it, it has eight tentacles for octagon. And it shows in a couple of more images, it, it does show eight, like of, in the spectre image. But here, it shows seven like in 007, the symbol of the pyramid. 
Interestingly, 007 Spectre is a corporation of two big Hollywood companies with both Faironic lo logos with Columbia, the light bringer on a pyramid for Isis, and MGM, G for masonry, Gola or Golut, and M for the M sign of the hand, showing the lion symbol of the aristocracy and Pharaoh's dignity. The trailer also shows crows as the bringer of souls leading the way to the portals. The trailer announces the long-awaited awakening and related to the Alps and Octogon. And just as Spectre's octopus for Octogon, there's the Spinner, the spider organization, also symbolizing Octogon for the eight legs and the world wide web of masonry and Die Spinner is one of the those numerous Swiss Nazi Templar orgs uh, bringing Nazis to South America via the Red Line after World War II to places like Colonia Dignidad in Chile and uh, to Argentina where Nazis have uh, San Carlos de Bariloche, Ba for the soul and Ri for the sun Bari Lodge, just as the Argentinian flag with the sun in it, protected by Argentinian Nazi presidents like Peron, Per for the house or bloodline, and On meaning in the function of Per On, like in Per A, the big house where the word Pharaoh is from. It's in Wikipedia, you can read the whole article. These are all original uh, demotic words and pharaonic names of our pharaonic masters from Octogon, Switzerland, the base of all evil, where in Villa Bavaria the Nazis and Nazi colonel Paul Schäfer massively raped children. There he is. Villa Bavaria, Ba for the soul, Vaha means to come home or return ri the sun and a for big or pregnant bavaria the soul returns to the sun from where we were born bavaha ri a bavaria and these pharaonic swiss nazi templars in argentina did more to those children than ju just between square quotes just raping them there you can see the rest of the article, just punch pause, put in the links for you. It, it really is the spider, it's all over and it's a world wide web, everywhere. Apparently these creatures need to lift young defenseless souls for that coming arrival. What if they had isolated all those children from that A320 Airbus German Wings flight before they accidented the plane, as they do with a rendition at an airport by those uniformed creatures coming to you? Sir, you have to step aside and come with me. And they have done so in numerous rendition cases. The kids are far away from home with no parental supervision. Well, best set up conditions for the perfect rendition and the airplane was old and ready for scrap anyway anyway the authorities lie all the time about nearly anything and then backed up by other authority officers as they lie about the airbus cockpit door which can in fact be opened from the outside by the personnel on board as this official Airbus instruction video shows, which a good person sent to me. So here it says in German, open up the damn door. And here it says that the tape is secret. So now they say in the media that the captain was screaming on the flight recorder, open up the damn door and saying the tapes uh, are all secret. So nobody will hear them eventually. Secret? 
kept away from public is all you can come up with with those old stories of some suicide ballads. Well, we remember that one from your 9-11 scam false flag psyops. You think we're stupid or something? And where are the children? And this here, it sounds like a rendition. Both flights from Boston that struck the Twin Towers passed over Stewart Air Force Base and NORAD facility at the exact same time. This is a rendition. But there wasn't even a plane because uh, you can't fly uh, with an airliner 850 kilometers an hour at sea level. There's not enough drag and there's the, uh, too much air resistance. This man here is, a, is an expert, Field McConnell. So you can send him an email here in this uh, website here. And uh, he was a, uh, a Navy uh, jet pilot as well. And he knows about the uninterruptible autopilot, just like the accident of the, of the German wings. So that means the, the ground computer can, uh, at the moment the airplane is in the air, they put in the uninterruptible autopilot and there's no pilot in the world that can do anything about it. The airplane flies itself and you can do nothing. Not even that so-called or that scapegoat German suicide pilot uh, who they scapegoated for this affair here. <laughs> Nobody can do a thing. So, and just as an A320 Airbus has an uninterruptible autopilot in which the pilot cannot unlock we are not the pilots of our own lives anymore with New World Order and Octagon deciding every step we take and forbidding every step we really want to take and now it seems with the announcement of the arrival of the Bond it seems the 007 Octagon Jebo Pyramid is all geared up in fifth gear for their kite in the storm. So fasten your seat belts and enjoy the ride down. In one of my other videos I've already told you about the occult around James Bond. But I haven't told you about his author, Sir Ian Fleming, yet. He was a Sir and member of the aristocracy by birth, where the word Sir is from Sire, meaning a king, which is from the pharaonic Sar, like in a Sar, coffages, which is a box to put the pharaoh in when he is dead, or in C, Sar, the king of Rome, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, etc., or the Win Sar family, or the Tsars. See my video, The Pharaoh Show. And here you can see the occult here, you know, this is Commander Fleming, an aristocrat. And here, what is this, the Brotherhood of the Snake. And the, uh, the, uh, the, Afri the African or Egyptian Cobra is the symbol of the Pharaonic Dignity. I don't know what it is, it says an S here and an I. It's all occult. His mother was Evelyn Saint Croix Rose, which is a Templar's name from Octogon, where a rose is red and croix is the French word for a cross. So Saint Croix Rose or Saint Croix Rose, also known as the Order of the Rosicrucian, means the Holy Red Cross, as of the Templars and their base Octogon, Switzerland. So no wonder he rose that quick to the rank of commander in the naval intelligence during the war, as he was already born into a Templar's family of Octogon Saint Croix Rose. So here you can see it. Ian Fleming, his mother was Evelyn Saint Croix Rose. This is very important. It's the aristocracy, you know. So this is in uh, Wikipedia. I show the whole thing to you. So this is about Ian Fleming on Wikipedia. It says birth and family Saint Croix Rose. Templars. And, uh, the old 
Obelisk. Ian Fleming's Grave Memorial at Sevenhampton. The Oval. The Joining. The Four Elements. It's all there. Pharaohs. In 1929 and 1930, Fleming studied in Geneva, Switzerland, the same year as the Prince of Darkness, Bernhard, also studied in Switzerland but in Lausanne, just next to each other. And yes, they knew each other and were friends. The Prince was that Bond guy with the fast cars, and it was here in Switzerland at some aristocratic gathering in some castle they met an ar aristocrat of the von Bismarck family called, called Ulrich Wille, a Swiss general who had been financing Adolf Hitler from 1922 onwards. As Rudolf Hess studied in Zurich and brought Hitler to Switzerland. Well, I already told you this in my other videos. Fleming, while in Switzerland, had this aristocratic girlfriend, Monique Banchot de Bottome who introduced him to the Zurich-based Hitler financiers and Swiss general Ulrich Wille of the von Bismarck family. And she was a member of the Thule organization with ties to Alistair Crowley, who also came and lived in Nazi Germany in 1930, together with Fleming and that Prince of Darkness. They were all together there. Fleming's grandfather, by the way, was a very rich banker and he founded the Scottish American Investment Trust and the bank Robert Fleming and Company. Uh, later on we come back to it when uh, he created James Bond out of uh, Scotland and Switzerland. And it also says here that he went, uh, Fleming he went to the Munich University where Mr. Hitler was and the Prince of Darkness. They all were there. And because Hitler was in Munich at the time, both the Prince and Fleming decided to go to Munich too, and sort of studied at the university there. Being also the exact ti same time, the rise of Adolf Hitler started from 1929 to, to 1934. Here you can see it. The prince, he, started, he studied in Lausanne, Berlin and Munich from 1929 on. Yeah, this is about the Prince of Darkness. And therefore Fleming could live in the apartment of Sir Oswald Mosley, an aristocrat and the leader of the British Fascist Party at 22B, Ebury Street, Belgravia, London from 1934 till... 1945, where the English aristocratic sisters Unity and Diana Mitford were also in the game. And it was Fleming and the Prince bringing the money to Hitler in Munich for his election campaign from Switzerland and the Swiss general really leading to the rise of Hitler. It was a war of the aristocracy and Switzerland of the Templars against the Europeans, Russians, Jews and even against the Germans. And this is the true reason that Fleming came up with special forces and assault unit, unit Commando 30 to finally get their man Hitler out by the end of the war, bringing Hitler to the other end of the world where the prince owned vast pieces of land. After the war, Fleming felt the need to talk, but he was not allowed to reveal the secret, so he encoded the James Bond novels. They were never really based upon the, uh, upon the name of some or ornithologist or bird watcher. J.A. James stands for Yachin, and B.O. Bond stands for Boaz. The two obelisks of a Freemason temple, just as J.A. Jason, B.O. Born. So Jebo is the son Freemasonry and his father is Andrew Bond from Glencoe of the Scottish Rite and where the Templars hid their mighty fleet from the French King Philippe le Bel and from the Catholic Church. 
This Templars fleet later on used to bring the black slaves to the US Confederate States. And his mother is Monique Delacroix from Switzerland, and Delacroix means of the cross, referring to Switzerland and the Sisters of Isis, living under the Swiss Templars cross. So the son, Freemasonry, came out of a marriage between the Scottish Rite and Switzerland. This trinity is also IHS, Isis, Horus and Seth, most certainly if you look at Jabo's coat of arms, with the Holy Trinity and Templars V. 007 is the number of the pyramid, seven that is, who these aristocratic Templars really are. Seven is three plus four, three for a pyramid side standing for IHS and four for its base and the four elements. Only this is why seven is a holy number in the old books. And in the novels, James Bond really does have a coat of arms here with the Templars V and the three points of this marriage of uh, Andrew Bond, Bond, the father of James Bond, and his Swiss mother, Monique de la Croix, just like Fleming, Fleming his mother and his own family of uh, Saint Croix Rose. And the, um, uh, the slogan of, of their coat of arms is Orbis non sufficit. That means the world is not enough. You know, the James Bond, the world is not enough. Well, they always show in the movie with those, with the song. And after their success of World War II, after the war, the New World Order could really start. So what better way to announce that to all the initiates worldwide than by using a bestseller or blockbuster film? I remember well how D Diana was entirely disillusioned after they tried to initiate her into all that. It was like a world of dreams broke together. So Bond 007 is in fact a bond or alliance between Octogon and the Scottish Rite, the fleet and the money base. This is why James Bond also went to school in Geneva of the motherland, just as Fleming, and then became a commander of the fleet in the Royal Navy, because Bond is a bond and union between the Scottish Naval Templars and the Swiss Money Templars. We are being lied to by our pharaonic masters of the aristocracy, who still have all the power now in the New World Order, pushing us into entire world wars, genocides and mass slaughter, and always their base Switzerland, their head of the conglomerate, where all the money is. All secret services are against mankind and not against some other intelligence service. They all work together for the pharaohocracy, with very evil men like this pharaoh Sir Sire Sar, Ian Fleming, his mother Saint Croix Rose, Rosicrucian, from that evil Swiss bloodline from Octogon in the Alps. There you can see it, Sir Oswald Mosley. They're all aristocrats. You know, that's why Fleming was living in his house for about 15 years. So this is a Wikipedia. They all knew each other. Hitler, Fleming, Mosley, the Prince of Darkness, Switzerland, Ulrich Wille. They all knew each other. Yeah, it says... In April 1930, Alistair Crowley, he moved to Berlin. Exactly the same time when the Prince of Darkness, Bernhard, Ian Fleming, uh, they were all there, you know, complotting, conspiring, plotting against, against the world. So this is in Wikipedia. Nice fella, isn't it? And here it is about the this in German, but uh, it's about the the Prince of Darkness, Bernhard, how he was writing letters to Mr. Hitler. Uh, they found some letters even they they wrote together. There he is, a friend of Ian Fleming. All conspiring together, they were all in Munich and Berlin. <laughs> 
And it comes all from here, the base, where they keep their money, where they go and study, where they finance Adolf Hitler, where the Prince of Darkness studied, where Fleming studied, just before going to Nazi Germany and then to England, back to England. It all started here. Switzerland is the base. In this film I will show you how the River Thames in England represents and substitutes the River Nile of ancient Egypt for the British ruling class, the aristocracy, and their wind sars. A sar means a king in Demotic. See the pharaoh show for that. Well, this is called the Temple of Philae and it reminds you of the MI6 building at the River Nile in London, doesn't it? In Oxford they even call the Thames River Isis or the Isis where even the second crew of the famous Oxford row rowing crew is called Isis like a bunch of sissies who couldn't make it to the Premier Rowing League against their competitors from the River Cam. Here an old postcard of the uh, River Isis a lot of things going on eh? And apparently they're even doing some rituals there, even this year, 2013, in the Themesis River. And which is not Celtic or Latin origin, but it is like the picture shows it here. It is Isis. And in London, at the banks of River Isis, stands Cleopatra's Needle, together with a sphinx on each side as an obelisk has to stand near the water for representing the goddess Isis and the obelisk stands for Osiris and his chopped off male organ as in a circumcision really. Then next to it is the military intelligence section 5 with these uh, Templars logo on their rear entrance from Orsi Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. So this is in Thorny Street, I think number seven it was. Then on the other side of the dip is this funny building of Mill Intel Section 6, who call themselves SIS, S I S, as in SIS to, or hey SIS, how are the Sisters of Isis doing? Adding up into Isis Secret Intelligence Service, giving Isis at the River Isis. The whole look of the building gives a very subtle message which even settles in the unconscious of the non-initiated. I tell you what it represents, it's a sphinx. And uh, remember how the lion is a symbol of the royal pharaonic dignity which can be found on many a coat of arms of the aristocracy, and a lion is not a domestic animal indicating foreign powers ruling over us as it is the case with all those secret services and secret lodges who never f even fought the KGB but were merely invented to fight and spy their own peoples and all over the world suddenly all changed their names and appearances in a well-conceived euphemistic PSYOP program. KGB has changed its name, MI6 there's another name in France, the same thing going on, and even James Bond became Jason Bourne, with keeping the first two letters, J and Bo, because they stand for the two obelisks, Yashin and Boas. And even in the MI6 logo, there's a lion and symbol of the royal, fair aristocratic dignity, having an alliance through the vesica pitches of the tails forming the oval or the womb of Isis. See the film Fair Aristocracy for more. So this is the vesica pitches, it's a Freemason symbol and means the alliance. So this is the alliance between the unicorn for a special reason which I'm going to tell you why and the lion, which is a symbol of the aristocratic and um, a royal dignity. So we can find this symbol in Audi cars, uh, the Olympic Games, uh, the um, 
Gucci, Mastercard, uh, Swiss Cope supermarkets. It's everywhere. And here you can see the unicorn on the thing here. And here's the crown with the Templars cross, Fleur de Lis. Um, here's an apple or something. So this is the uh, Freemason pharaonic symbol of the Vesica Pites. So this is a, uh, a covenant between the symbol of the unicorn and the symbol of the lion. I'm going to explain that to you. So this is the coat of arms of the British royal fair aristocracy, the monarchy. And there are thousands of uh, different, uh, slightly different coat of arms. But they all have the unicorn and the lion. So this lion has an alliance with the unicorn, where the corn symbolizes an obelisk at a man's head, where his brain should be. And that's why the pale horse is attached with a chain. Just as Fenris is attached next to Yggdrasil. So who's riding the pale horse then? Well, Isis, the whore of Babylon, is riding the pale horse. The Sphinx never represented a man. And it subtly shows in the MI6 building at the river Isis. And Isis doesn't want the pale horse with his tremendous physical powers to break free from its chain through, for example, the wave of interval warriors flooding our minds at the very place where only a phallus, an instrument of satisf satisfaction for his mistress through total devotion should be, like through the unicorn in his mind leading his thoughts by desire for his queen, man has become has an obedient servant and soldier for Isis. And the pale horse is also the alliance between the white race and the pharaohs, whom they called the Haunabu, and with whom they mixed. There are no unicorns, silly, and there never will be such a thing as a unicorn. It means a unification corn in a union of pure stupid sheep or innocence, being embraced by the Nile goddess, as the Vesica Pytus clearly indicates. So here is the head of the Sphinx with eyes as her crown, with the sun rays as on the Statue of Liberty. Next to the head we can see the lion's manes as the Sphinx on in many a pharaoh's statue. And there is definitely the Temple of Philae in it. Oh, and this is what you really see when you look at the SIS uh, MI6 uh, building. And it goes into your subconscious and it's telling you the pharaohs are ruling, the Freemasons. Well, that's them all right. And on the very top of the SIS building, there's this very distinctive look of the Temple of Philae in ancient Egypt. This, was, this picture was taken before it was dried. So here's the Temple of Philae on top of the SIS building in London. And there are 13 windows underneath representing Osiris, his body chopped into 13 parts and scattered all over the River Nile or the River Isis as, as can be seen here. This weird sort of blue is called Lapis Lazuli which is one of the colours of the pharaonic royal dignity and the other color is supposed to be golden gold as as you can see on the mask of uh, Tutankhamun King Tut it's gold and blue the colors of the royal dignity of the pharaohs and we can see the uh, on their logo the um, the royal coat of arms on their logo can't we now and um, yeah, so gold and blue. And sometimes when the sun is shining on it in a special way, or when the lights are on it, it really does look gold and blue. So the whole thing gets a very pharaonic, um, a very pharaonic thing on it, you know. So gold and lapis lazuli blue as on the SIS building and uh, the triangle behind its head 
um, oh, it's all, all there. I'm very confident that in due time, when they got really all the power over us, they will put the snake on top of it. You'll see it coming. So these two medieval outlook posts, they represent the, uh, the paws of the Sphinx. Here's even the leg of the Sphinx and the paws. It's all very subtle, it's unconsciously. And uh, well, here's the head and here are the paws. You see what I mean? Very, very subtle. But they know it. See, here are the two outlook posts here. Here's the head with this form here. And they even put this thing here on the SIS building. Go and have a look. And this here as well. And this here. You find this as well. Go and have a look. This is what it is. Sphinx. And the Sphinx never was a man. It's Isis. The whore of Babylon. Riding the pale horse. Like on the... On the coat of arms. And this here, like this, are the wings of Ma'at, where the word magistrate is coming from. And we found her on many a car. She's the goddess of justice. Well, justice for whom? Look, I show it on a mini car. Well, there are the wings. Uh, Chrysler has it too, I think, and Aston Martin has it, and a lot of other cars. And the Nazis had it, and well, there you go. The fair aristocracy are here all right, and they never left. And here they are, at the banks of River Isis, with all their hidden symbols of power. And all the American presidents are descendants of the royal bloodline of the British fair aristocracy. So the rider on a white horse can also be the rider on the white house. If you interchange the R by a U, or in cyber language, R U, the rider of the white house, Mr. Akhenaten president. Yes, you will obey us. You will be surprised how many <clears throat> You will be very surprised how many ISIS related security companies and institutes there are in the internet, especially in Switzerland. This one is in Zurich. But they also have the ISIS to control the Swiss citizens. As I already showed it to you, it's all Isis, Isis, Isis. Here, yeah, look at. It. I, I, I can't even show it all to you. It's so much. So Isis, just as on the Sis building of the MI6, it's all Isis, Pharaohs. That's what it is. Here it is. Some more Isis security. Well, uh, you know, top is here, here as well. Isis alarm products. Um, it's full of it. It's all security related ISIS things here. The whole internet is full of it. Yeah. ISIS Europe, etc. etc. I, I, it's hundreds of pages I can't show you. And on the, uh, the second one there's the official of government ISIS um, where they got all, all the information on Swiss citizens is also called ISIS. Isis Datenbank. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is part of the Swiss. Um, it's like the Swiss MI6 or part of it. It's also called Isis. Just like in London. It's everywhere. And to spy on the foreigners here in Switzerland, they call it Saar, like in a sarcophagus. And Saar is the pharaonic demotic word for a king. Um, this is what they do in Switzerland. It's all the same pharaonic stuff here. Isis, Saar. So the spy system concerning the Swiss population, it's called Isis, the Informatisierte Staatsschutz Information System. Yeah, here we can see it's of the, the, the Swiss Templars logo on it. There you go. This is the Isis, just like the MI6 in London, the CIS. The Isis.
security information system or whatever it is it's all and there is the uh, SIS uh, for the European uh, <clears throat> database for all the uh, the Europeans in it. it just SIS just like the thing in London it's all the same thing it's all ISIS it's all the pharaohs and they're all lying don't believe them anymore it's all gonna have one name now here listen Wikipedia there are hundreds of ISIS pages on the internet go and look it up In October 1994 in Switzerland, home of the Nazi Templars, 54 people, among which many children, were brutally murdered in a, in a satanic Templars ritual of a wannabe New Age Templars club called the Order of the Solar Temple. In French, OTS or Ordre du Temple Solaire, and in German, Die Sonnentempler. And the whole affair got covered up by the media and the real octagon blue police army as a collective suicide of some crazy sect. But the members were not crazy at all, counting doctors, millionaires and classical composers amongst the followers. And in fact years later only a very small article of just three or four lines stated in the newspapers that most were murdered after all. I will tell you why, by whom and how. Why? Well first, Pharaoh will never accept people constructing their own society within society, being also one of the reasons the Jews got gassed and murdered. Second, the real Templars of aristocratic descent of the royal Pharaonic lineage won't accept any New Age wannabe Templars using their name, and if you do so, you're dead. If you won't listen, if you won't listen, and the leaders of these new ages in their megalomania and narcissistic arrogance just wouldn't listen. Here in the German Spiegel from 1964, you can see how Alexander von Schalcher Ehrenfeld of the German aristocracy, a real Templar and Maltese knight sues German New Age wannabe Templars of the 60s in court. I personally knew descendants of two different generations of that von Schalscher Ehrenfeld and spent weeks together with them and related to Rennes le Chateau of the Templars before taking to their residence in Germany. Von Ehrenfeld means field of honor and Schalscher sounds very un-German more likely to Pharaonic of ancient Egypt, where the aristocracy originates from. So you can read the whole article if you if you can read German. Put in the links for you as well. Just bunch pause. Joseph Di Mambro got the leadership of the Order of the Solar Templar from Julien Origas in 1983 and this Origas fellow was a real Nazi and a member of the Gestapo and friend of Mussolini, a Nazi leading a Templars group. Nazi Templars! So the Swiss Nazi Templars and their octagon police were extremely angry seeing one of their Templars organizations in the hands of New Agers, homeopathy doctors, a bunch of dreamers, housewives and children. So they ordered the Swiss Octagon police of the Nazi Templars to go threaten, terrorize and infiltrate this New Age club. And finally kill them all in a satanic code O2T soul lifting ritual with a plastic bag over their heads see my video about that and remind you how children make an excellent choice for O2T soul lifting to serious 
which stands for Osiris of the Horus Matrix, as the aristocracy, or Aryan, relates to the pharaonic Ari, from beyond the stars, where A is pregnant in ancient Demotic, and Ri is the sun, pregnant sun, and born beyond the stars, such as Sirius. And this is from my channel, Gyuri. This is why in their logo there's a crown, as Templars are aristocrats. The Oval of Isis, her womb, Oval Office and Vesica Pites of the Masons. The Wings of Isis or Ma'at, just as Madonna. And T.S. for Solar Temple, as in A.R.I. Also standing for S.T. or Swiss Templars. In service of the Sisters of Isis, Suisse Sir Isis, Switzerland. Then the Swiss Order of the Solar Temple had an internal issue about two babies, one being Christ and the other one the Antichrist. And let me tell you, the Swiss really believe they are God's chosen people and superior to the rest of the world which they even openly announce through their SVP Nazi party, showing other races as animals like black sheep, crows, snakes and rats. So one of the babies had to go, and a hit team of four people from Switzerland was being prepared to ritually murder a three-month-old baby at Morin Heights, Quebec, Canada. This story about the Swiss Antichrist is very much related uh, with that Swiss descendant of Phileas Walder of the KKK and the man who ordered Albert Pike in the 19th century, where the Swiss Antichrist and descendant of Phileas Walder was going to get born in Jerusalem exactly as 100 years later the OTS Solar Temple was believing. And these people are not crazy, they just know things about which we don't have a clue about, of dark, sinister world of the Alps, full of hidden evil worshipping the forces of darkness. Then, in August 1994, the first Swiss killers flew to Canada to set up a safe house. They were Gérald and Colette Genoux probably related to the Swiss grey eminence François Genoux, a friend of Adolf Hitler, who founded Islamofascism together with Amin al -Husseini. It's just one big family of Swiss satanic Nazis, and Satanism and Nazism are basically the same thing, most certainly if you look at their achievements. Uh, you can read the whole story. It's all about Switzerland. It's the center of evil. Then on September 29, 1994, Swiss killer Joel Egger, reminding us of Schwarzen Egger, also Egger from the Alps, also exterminator in a way. So Egger joined the hit team, followed up by Dominique Bellaton on another date. And just watch how meticulously Swissy set up the murders, so nobody sees it coming, just as the two world wars ordered and financed by the Swiss. Then, after months of patient preparation in October 1994, the Swiss assassins from Octogon were ready to kill the baby. The four-man Swiss sleeper cell, consisting of two men and two women, invited the Dutois family with the baby over for dinner, all smiling through their teeth and doing that clean Swiss neutrality thing. Then they clubbed the, fa the father down with a baseball bat. Coing, slit the mother's throat and then slowly ritually sacrificing the baby 
under evil Swiss incantations before stabbing it in the back eight times as for octagon. Before that, the entire family got tortured through Swiss code O2T with the plastic bag to lift out the soul, just as Swissy does in their prisons and with the next assassinations coming up. Oh yes, Swissy knows what she's doing. And I didn't choose it to be exactly 20 years. I mean, this is this is such this is not a coincidence. I, I it, it, it's real crazy. Exactly 20 years, and now I'm doing this here. The same moment, back in the motherland, another team of octagon Swiss assassins were waiting to fulfill the second part of the ritual only to be executed in order after the baby's fate fulfilled its destiny. So a few days later, in the sinister motherland of Octogon, and founded by the Templars in 1291, a huge satanic ritual started, killing exactly 53 people, and one escaped, otherwise it would have been 54 among which numerous children performing an ancient ritual hidden behind big walls of the Swiss laws of silence. Just as in 1310 the French king Philippe le Bel burned exactly 54 Knights Templars and 38 of the 53 plus 1 victims in Switzerland were even officially recorded as being smothered with those plastic bags to lift out the souls for Sirius and 54 Templars burned at the stakes 680 years before. The 6 for Hexagon, the Mason Inner Circle and 8 for Octagon, the military wing. In fact all 53 were ritually suffocated, probably similar to the 54 Templars being suffocated before getting burned at the stakes. So they were ritually suffocated for the Swiss O2T ritual. And now also October in 2014 and exactly one generation of precisely 20 years I've come to tell you this now. Watch out for the number 54 and 54 reincarnated Templar souls used in a satanic ritual now reaching manhood one generation later from October uh, 1994 to October 2014. You have no idea what massive amount of evil energy around us um, the making of this video generates. After the ritual mass murder, the fascist Swiss Octagon Police and the corrupt Swiss Justice Department immediately started to work on survivors, witnesses and family members by falsifying the facts and witness accounts into the murder thesis of a collective suicide by some crazy sect members by manipulating, putting pressure on interrogated people, twisting their words and putting fraud witness accounts into the files. This is very common for the corrupt Swiss liar police to do. They always cover up things, just as the recent murder of an entire British family at the Swiss border in Annecy near Geneva, with the Swiss gun and the actual Nazi murders in Germany by the NSU, National Socialist Underground, well, also with silent silence pistols from Switzerland. All over Europe and the entire world there are Swiss hit teams on the way at this very moment and totally backed up with a license to kill by the Swiss Nazi authorities. Daniel Jaton lived here with other members of the order. Although the house might have held vital evidence police were slow to seal it off. They only put seals on the place on the 13th of October, so for eight days anyone could have taken the material evidence or tampered with the evidence. 
It wasn't the only delay in the investigation. The Swiss police took 10 weeks to contact one of the French treasurers of the order. She had close links with the cult's leaders and is now too frightened to be identified. The police were very obvious. They were quite determined to demonstrate it was a matter of a guru and a sect. They asked me if there had been special effects, if I'd been asked to sleep with other members. It was a matter of showing it was a sect. I thought their questions were very narrow. If I said things that did not fit the focus of their investigation, the Swiss police didn't write it down. They said, no, we're not interested in that. So now you're going to see the guy who got away, Thierry Huguenin. So he is number 54, as in 1310 of the, uh, the 54 Templars. The police might have been satisfied, but Thierry Huguenin, the ex-cult member, was far from happy. He was sure there was about to be another mass killing. He told the Swiss police, but they did little about his warnings. All victims, by the way, had short-time and long-time future plans like doing a driver's license examination next week, building a new house, showing happiness for their next holidays, and providing health and happiness for their beloved children like doing health food, homeopathy, and practicing long-term biological gardening. A bit odd for people desiring a collective suicide. Well, as usual, the Octagon Swiss liar police are involved in the murders deep over their ears and as usual backed up by the Mason judiciary, the eight and the six together. And I will tell you again, neither do I, Sean Ross, have any suicide plans or to hurt someone else, nor do my wife and children. As I showed in four different videos where the violent Swiss came to hit me, I did not even defend myself, because I know very well that it is this the Swiss liar police wants me to do. The images are there, and you can see the Swiss aggressing me, and I just had to digest the blows again and again and again. Then on March 23, 1995, a Swiss hit team murdered again five Canadians in Quebec, stretching all the way over across the ocean to Canada. And on December 23, 1995, another Swiss hit team from Octogon and Swiss police members murdered 16 people in a large French French forest not far away from Switzerland using the service pistols of two French undercover policemen who also got murdered with Swissies O2T plastic bags again all over their heads and the body bodies dressed up on the ground forming an octagonal star formation which you can see here and again killing babies and children who were all incinerated with a flamethrower after the ritual to eliminate traces, just as in the other murders and in Auschwitz, which was also the work of the Swiss, with Heinrich Himmler, almost born in Switzerland of Swiss ethnicity, and Leonardo Conti, the Swiss sadist, and SS Obergruppenführer, and German health minister, two Swiss and the top leaders under whose responsibility Auschwitz stood, in fact. So, well, here you can see uh, 16 is a very good number, you know, to make an octagon. And the Templars did, in fact, they, uh, they mostly uh, built all their, their churches and temples, like Solar Temple, in an octagonal form. So, I can see with which bodies they started, namely with these two here. So two, you know, 16 divided by two, you get eight, it's octagon, octagon. Then they did these two here, and then they did it with the two kids here, the babies, well these are babies, this is a kid, also in line, still in line, and there they gave it up. Uh, these two are the other way around with the head uh, towards the circle 
and they just fill, filled up the, the gaps at the end. So they did this here, then this here, then the two babies probably, and then they did these two here, always with these and these and these. You can see they were trying to make an octagon and then they gave it up. Maybe there was some, they heard some noises or something and it's quite hard I suppose, you know, if you're standing on the same level to put to, to line up the people in a, in a octagonal star formation. So in the end they just lined them up here and they filled the gaps here, here and here with the two babies here. So it's very, very obvious. It must be octagonal because it's all Templar stuff. You know, even their, their castles and um, um, strongholds, they, they mostly build in octagonal form, as I showed you in Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, and even Hitler's um, um, Eagle's Nest was built in an octagonal form and, and given to him by uh, Hermann Bormann. And the guy who, who initiated this order here, he was a personal friend of the Nazis, he probably knew Himmler, he was a friend of Mussolini and uh, a member of the Gestapo. So with two, two pairs, you know, they tried to make an octagon. They started here, then did this, this two here, then they did this two here, these two here, and then they gave it up. They just lined them all up here, and they filled the gaps here, the other way around, it didn't matter anymore, and at the end probably the two babies. This is what they did. And this is what the Swiss, they are, they're into it, you know. Switzerland is octagon. They were founded by the Templars in 1291. Go and see the Pharaoh show, or if there's any French policeman who wants to know this, um, go and see Le Pharaon show. I tell you what happened. Here you can see the Swiss have been doing this for a very long time, you know. It's not only the indications of how the Swiss liar police suffocated the case in, into the wrong direction, but they are really involved in it and also murdered those two French cops. The French police are quite correct and under control by the independent French judiciary, not like in Nazi Switzerland acting as a combined police, judiciary, fascist, mafia under the code of omerta silence. I have good experience with the French police, who respect others and don't bend the laws as the Swiss police Nazis do. I feel quite safe with the French police and I hope that stays that way, even with the Swiss police liars spreading all those lies about me. The Swiss liar police said it was a suicide, some of the victims having nine bullets in their heads. Well, I guess after the first suicide bullet, it gets kind of hard to pop yourself the other eight bullets after the first one. And the gun had no fingerprints at all. All these mysterious Swiss Nazi Templar crimes are related. Solar Templar OTS, NSU National Socialist Underground in Germany and British family in Annecy near Geneva. All guns were Swiss and extreme Swiss criminal energies under a deadly silence of the Swiss Nazi police. And this guy too, he was, the, he was the head of the Swiss Nazi police in Bern, Heinrich Rotmund. And he gave all those Nazi war criminals a, uh, a Red Cross passport, you know, to, to leave Europe. They've been doing this for a very, very long time. Actually since 1291, Octogon of the Nazi Templars. Many people wondered why the plastic bags to suffocate all the people. Well, ancient mystical belief from the pharaohs of Egypt and the Book of the Dead say that when someone, someone dies quickly, the soul will return quickly to the home of souls. But when slowly tortured over a long period of time, slowly reducing the body and mind's resistance, then the soul can be lifted out for other purposes during a satanic ritual with incantations invoking the spirits of the entities of darkness and Swiss evil. 
For this, a child's sacrifice is best, because they have less resistance, and if every young child is believed to be partly still in the other world and home of souls beyond the stars, as in Ari, born out of the sun, as in aristocracy and Arian. And indeed, the work of Alistair Crowley, and so mixed up with Nazism, as he was in, in Germany together with Ian Fleming, and the Prince of Darkness. So the work of Alistair Crowley has found its way into that Swiss order of the Solar Temple, where they talked about underground temples below Zurich and the masters of Zurich. And indeed, Switzerland is being ruled from out of the German-speaking part of Switzerland, where half of the names in the French-speaking phone book are German, but no French names in the Swiss-German part. Vuarnay here is a large company of sporting equipment based in Geneva, Switzerland and uh, in the east of France next to Switzerland who lost family members in the massacre but yet he shows the Templar V on his articles thus revealing what he really stands for. So Jean Vuarnay the, uh, the owner of the company lost his uh, wife and his son Patrick but you don't put a V, just even if your name is Vuarnay with a V, you don't put a V on sunglasses just like that. This guy is initiated, he's no, he knows more, he's hiding things, as the whole Templar thing is under the laws of silence anyway. He, he can't speak out because otherwise he's dead too. This guy is lying. You know, it's probably about money and uh probably his wife and his son probably cheated on him uh, because they wanted money more money for the solar templars or something like this he's lying i tell you he's lying you don't put a v a templars v just like that and big like this on your on your equipment and the things you want to sell I mean, the whole thing is about Templars and people being murdered by these Templars. And then all of a sudden, a guy who's um, involved in it because he lost family members, he's showing the Templars V all over his gear. This is not a coincidence. There are no coincidences. If you calculate this so-called coincidence, you know, it's, it's such a small chance that a guy loses his family members and his son to the Templars and then having a V on his uh, on his sports gear. No way. And here is the original symbol or logo of the uh, the Solar Templar as it was created here by uh, Julien Origas, the uh, Gestapo guy. He was completely protected and a friend of Mussolini who was also in Switzerland, Mr. Mussolini. And this is very old, this dates the, the V of the Templar. So this is not the V of Vuarnay glasses, but it is like the Templars. And the same T and the S for Swiss Templars, actually, it's not Tradition Solaire. Uh, it says Swiss Templars, and here's the Templars V. Um, it, it's very old, actually. And this is a rose, like the Rosicrucians. And why a castle? Why not a, a monastery? If the Templars were supposed to be monks, well, because they are the nobility, the pharaohs, you know, like in Ari, aristocracy, and they also the Nazis, as in Arian, 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 Arier. So, well, watch my film Fair Aristocracy, Fair Aristocracy, in which I explain that that the um, the, pharaohs, the the Templars, they are the aristocracy of the pharaohs, actually. There are no monks. Uh, here are the wings of Ma'at, or uh, Isis, in some cases, like Madonna. So here it is, a close-up by the V. Four crosses, four red crosses here, so that's the number four. And here's the three also, one, two, three, making the seven together, like in 007. The symbol of the pyramid, because the base is, stands for four in the four elements. And the side is Isis, Horus and Seth. And uh, Mr. Ian Fleming, he was in Switzerland with the Prince of Darkness, uh, Bernhard. Also being together in Germany with Hitler, all the four of them with Alistair Crowley, is all one big satanic family. And there are no monks. These are, this is the aristocracy. Like in A-Ri, 
aristocracy and being the uh, with the Nazis because they also have they are the Nazis as well. These Templars boys, they are the uh, Aryan A R I E R the Arya. Uh, so this is the, like the official logo of the the solar temple, the tem Temple Solaire, and here's the V. Hey, Mr. Vuarnet, we think you think we believe you. You just put it there on, you know, like a coincidence. Hey, and this company is real big, um, and also related to Switzerland, as it is based in Geneva, because of the uh, the low tax. Uh, things uh, Switzerland is offering, you know. <laughs> you don't show a V just like this in your gear. He is a Templar, he knows it. And he's hiding a lot of things, I tell you. Symbols don't lie. I mean, why not showing the R in his name, Vuane? It's much nicer, you know. Or why not show an A and an R, or something, or a U and an A? Why the V? Or why not the T? You know, you know, you don't put a symbol like this in your in your company. You know, sticking out in red. You know, red of the Templars. Yeah, uh, as the the the, the, the Swiss uh, as the red cross and the, and the Swiss cross on the uh, uh, on a red underground. You know, symbols don't lie. I told you. This guy knows who the killers of his wife and his son are. So either he's very much afraid to talk out, or it's something much more sinister. And I believe it's the latter one, you know. Uh, it's all about silence, the codes of silence. And they were silenced up. You know, this Templars V company, it's huge and it's a conglomerate even producing inside the US for the American market, you know. So, I mean, this is backstabbing and killing at the Pharaonic court. Uh, killing at the, the nobility's uh, court, you know, they're having internal strife. But whatever really happened, this guy knows more. One of the leaders of the solar temple, Jodi Mambro, walked around in homo-related unisex garments with the conductor Michael Tebechnik. Just as FBI gay Edgar Hoover, also a Swiss, did with his boyfriend, showing off in unisex. That's what they do, under the code of silence. And in France, at the parking in the Vercors forest, the charred seats in the car of one of the victims still smelled of smoke and traces like phosphor, phosphorus of the flamethrower uh, combustible were found, which was used to incinerate the ritual victims to wipe off the agony of their faces. So according to the police reports, the dying victims of a collective suicides went back to the car to put the smoking Charles seat back in place and they went back to continue dying in an octagon star formation in the forest. So here's another one of those Templar child killers. Just as the solar temple they killed children, uh, in Ansi they killed children, and this guy too, he, he killed many children, you know, teenagers. And um, he's related to Switzerland, it's one big family. He has Swiss connections. I know this. So apparently the Swiss order of the solar temple still exists and headquartered in Zurich, where they still have thousands of members. Today there are numerous Swiss hit teams. Well, here's one of them. From Swiss Templar orders scumming the earth and killing for Octogon and Swiss Baphomet of the Swiss Nazi Templars, and the Swiss Sisters of Isis, whose name lent to that place in the Alps, Suisse, Sir Isis, or Switzerland, the heart of all evil. And um, I already showed you in one of my other videos how the Swiss Nazi Party 
uh, the SVP Nazi Party or UDC in French, how they uh, showed this guy as a hero. It's in one of my videos. I don't remember which one. Maybe it's on my other channel. It lives. This is the Red Cross here and uh, the idea is the Red Cross uh, and the land is the White Cross, you know, the other way around, if you see what I mean. Uh, this is Switzerland. They're all, it's all connected. It's one big family. Believe me. I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. God, nigga, the clan is getting bigger. What if I look at the number here, 2083, well, it's 20 years ago they murdered for the Solar Temple. And I think altogether it's 83 vict victims. It's all about numbers. Bunch of child killers, if you ask me. So here you can see today's uh, Templars in Switzerland. Here, CH for the country that means uh, Confederacy uh, Helvetica so that means the Helvetic Confederates like the Confederates doing the uh, the Civil War in the US and there are thousands of these groups in Switzerland providing neo-Nazis and Templars like in Norway with uh, know-how how to make bombs and uh, selling guns to the German NSU the National Socialist Underground <laughs> killing people in ANSI and also this here um, yeah and it's it's all it's all from Switzerland really the most important reason for this ritual Swiss sacrificial solar temple mass murders is the fact that Octagon Switzerland was founded by the Knights Templars in 1291 just two and a half months after the last crusade. Watch the Pharaoh show for that and Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. The Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in the worst of crimes. Always and everywhere. And this is from the uh, the all-seeing eye at the main police station in Bern. Muammar Gaddafi had a dispute with Octagon Switzerland for years before his death on October 20th, 2011. And when in September 2009, he openly said that Switzerland should be abolished, I knew they were going to pull the plug. Because you don't criticize Switzerland of the Nazi Templars like that publicly without putting your life in grave danger, just as I, Sean Ross, am experiencing this. Now here it says in the Daily Mail, on um, in September 3rd, 2009, uh, Colonel Gaddafi wants to abolish Switzerland, and then it gets very dangerous. There it is, the Mail, the Daily in the Mail online, big newspaper. Here you can read the old article. So. If anybody has any doubts why he died, you know. So. Then in February 2010, he even openly called for and declared a fatwa and holy Islamic jihad against Switzerland. And one year later, he was dead. It says, Muammar Gaddafi has reportedly been blacklisted by Switzerland. They pulled the plug. And here it says, February 26, 2010. He died one year later in 2011. 
And it says again, and this is the BBC, this is the mainstream. Switzerland has put Gaddafi on a black list. Here it says, and we all know what happened to him. This is about his son. And here is about a Swiss man surrenders to Libyans because the uh, Gaddafi he uh, arrested some Swiss financial uh, criminals in Libya as well. And he criticized the Swiss, you know, for showing Muslims like all sort of and immigrants in Switzerland like all sort of animals, and um, well, you know, no wonder you know reactions will come if Switzerland doesn't uh, abide by the international rules anymore. I hear some more on the Telegraph. It was all over, really. Colonel Gaddafi calls for jihad against Switzerland in 2010. You may criticize the USA, Russia or the UK and live on. But you don't talk about the motherland of the Nazi Templars like that. And here's already the shadow of Octogon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, watching over Gaddafi's shoulder. I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. It all started in July 2008 when the Swiss Nazi police arrested his son in Geneva Hotel Wilson based upon a construction of lies. And I know this because I had contacts right around the corner through my old Jewish friend Mr. Zilberman, who was acquainted with some employees of the Wilson Hotel, saying it was all a setup. Why? Well, let's follow the money trail. In Switzerland, the biggest chain of petrol stations, or ga gas stations as they might call it in the colonies, is called Tamoil. And Tamoil is from Libya and Gaddafi's oil. Here's on Wikipedia. It says here, Tamoil is the trading name of the Oil Invest BV Group. Uh, the Tamoil Group, which was pur purchased by Libyan state entities in the late 1980s put in the link for you. Plus the fact that the revolutionary leader had assets of 168 billion dollars spread around the world and mostly in the Swiss banks. And then things get very dangerous as the Jews too had to find out the hard way during the Second World War. And because of Switzerland, it says the Swiss official, officials have gone into Libya to help the National Transitional Council freeze the Gaddafi regime assets in their tax haven. Prosecutors go to Libya to freeze Gaddafi's Swiss assets the moment he was dead. And they did already before, actually. I'll put in the links for you. So I'll show you the whole story here. Here it says... Um, to trace billions of dollars that Colonel Muammar Gaddafi uh, hid in Switzerland. Well, much of this is suspected to have been hidden in Switzerland. Well, of course. Why, where else? And why else would they have killed him? Yeah. So here it says the fallen dictator is believed to have had around 168 billion dollars in assets abroad, most of which has been frozen since the start of the year. And then the Swissies are very quick. Immediately when he was dead, they went over there. Otherwise they don't do anything, you know, like, oh, they love money, the Swissies. Yeah. Well, you can read the whole story here. Well, I'll show it to you. I'll put in the links for you. So, Swissy froze Gaddafi's money, which is another word for confiscation, or just plain Swiss theft. As well, confiscating Tamoil petrol stations and refinery in Switzerland with a yearly turnover of $2.7 billion. 
it says 2.7 billion dollars and it's the number one petrol company in Switzerland it has been the country since 1990 so since 1990 he has risked his life uh, Mr. Gaddafi you know so and here's about the Libyan Investment Authority Plus the LIA, or Libyan Investment Authority, with $70 billion investments worldwide. There you can see, $70 billion uh, dollars in invested worldwide. And all this has gone into the hands of Switzerland. They stole it all. And this is why Mohammed Gaddafi had to die. You can read the whole article, I'll put it in the links for you. Just punch pause. It's all there, really. Here you see, now that uh, Gaddafi is dead, so this is in 2012, Swiss is coming with their terror authorities to clean up the... Um, the turmoil, you know, so they want another, some more millions of the Libyan people. And uh, this really shows how they are, you know, they're a bunch of backstabbers, you know. So nobody ever hears anything of it, but, you know, this is how they steal. And they really, if you, if you, you know, this is the difference with other countries. You know, like in France or, you know, or, or the, in the UK, if you're lying down, you know, or if you're like a homeless, you say, well, okay, he's had enough, leave him alone, you know. But in Switzerland, the moment you're down and you can't defend yourself, then they really start, you know, like kicking you and, and pushing you down, you know, as they're doing with me. And, the, and this is a real big difference with other peoples and other... Um, um, mental sets you know of 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 peoples you know, when Gaddafi was still alive they wouldn't dare you know to do a thing like this you know and it's completely illegal they, they just do what they want and now there's no more Gaddafi and the Libyans can't defend themselves so now they come with these sort of things you know when they're lying on the ground they really come kicking as they're doing with me I tell you this is what the Swiss are they did the same thing with the Jews the moment they had them, like inside the camps, you know, then they took all the money and the Nazi gold and gave the Red Cross passport to the Nazi red line, you know, to go to South America. This is so typical Switzerland. And in this aspect, they are not human. This, this is not a human thing to do. No other European people would do this, not even the Germans. This is Swiss. And look back at the policeman I filmed with his evil black eyes and, and the UFO or whatever it was hovering over. They're not normal. No other people would do this, you know. Like kidnap children and, and this is Switzerland. Years ago I visited the Libyan embassy in Bern, Switzerland a few times. And you could just walk in there with all the gates and doors wide open like a Bedouin's tent in the desert. There was no security personnel, no humiliating hands all over your body, nothing at all. Then inside you could choose yourself whether you wanted to walk through the metal detector gate or just pass next to it. Which I did of course. And after that there was tea or coffee and very polite, decent and real friendly people. Gaddafi's embassy in Bern, Switzerland was the only embassy in town resembling a drive-in. Whereas any other standing too long in the area of another embassy in Bern, Switzerland would have you arrested, as they did with me on February the 26th at 9 o'clock in the morning of 2009 near the US Embassy. They arrested me like a thug with a Swiss policeman called S. Lascha, L-A-C-H-A-T, poking his rifle butt in my stomach, then spending half the day in detention for nothing. 
I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. Gaddafi was a nuisance to Pharaoh and Pharaoh's empire. As he once told King Abdullah from Saudi Arabia on March 30th, 2009, that he was a puppet set in place by the British monarchy and protected by America. I will put the, the video here in the links for you. Just listen to it. He tried to do something against against Pharaoh and their base Switzerland. Here you can read some more about it. This is in 2009 when Switzerland started this all. And then of course the uh, all the puppets worldwide did they you know they took it over. So he said like to uh, the king um, Ab Abdullah or Abdullah <laughs> He said, well, you were made by Britain and protected by the U.S. Well, he is. You know, he's, he's related to the, to, the, to the English Queen. And uh, through the bloodline of uh, Mohammed, the, uh, the Islamic prophet. Because uh, one of his descendants uh, was in Spain, in Cordoba. And they had children with the... Um, the Spanish royal bloodline, uh, and, and then they met the English royal bloodline. It's all related, you know. It doesn't mean that Mohammed was bad or something. It was just one of his end, of his uh, of his uh, descendants who did so. He didn't have any control about that, of course. And um, but this started with Switzerland. Switzerland pulled the plug, and then he. He saw the enemy, you know, well, every, everyone turned an enemy upon him, you know. This is the power Switzerland have. And you can see it happening here. Even within the Arab world, all those pharaohs like King Abdullah and Mubarak and, you know, they, and, and Saddam Hussein. and Well, they all turned against um, Muammar Gaddafi. Because Switzerland gave the order. That's what I've been telling you. The Templars give the worldwide orders. And the whole worldwide net of uh, Masons, they just obey. Just as America, since the first Gulf, Gulf War in, uh, in 1991, well, they had more than 20 years, you know, to, to, to have a sort of, um, like the Nazis did, you know, um, Lebensborn. To make children, you know, to, to rape women and, and keep them prisoners. So, so they have a new generation of uh, Arab-looking uh, pharaohs or pharaonic descent, you know, who went into the, uh, the army in, um, in, in Iraq. Well, the new army with this entirely uh, American outfit, you know, do, perpetrating more crimes and taking the oil of the Iraqi people. So that's why the Islamic State, and now there's Khorasan, uh, they know this. And uh, they are young guys who don't want it. You know, yeah. We're all being lied to by these pharaohs and their, their lying media and their base, Switzerland. This is the real enemy of mankind. Of course, Gaddafi was a pharaoh as well, just as Lady Diana and many others. But uh, he had a certain love for mankind, you know. Just look at the, he's always sleeping in his tent, uh, like expressing his disgust for all the, you know, the rest of the pharaohs. And they're having internal strifes, you know, internal wars, which we have to fight, usually. And this is what happened in Libya. The people had to fight the wars between the pharaohs themselves. Otherwise, Mr. Gaddafi would never have become the uh, the, the revolutionary leader. Like, but he had he had a completely different idea. He was not a bad man. Um, he's being considered to be the good pharaoh, like da Lady Diana and. Uh, John F. Kennedy, all of pharaonic uh, aristocratic descent. But above 
all this stands the base of the Templars in the Alps, giving all the orders to the world wide web of Masons on all key positions. And of those orders included the fate of the revolutionary leader of Africa, Colonel Gaddafi. And soon after, NATO's missiles were raining down on Libya's small army with Apache gunships flying the streets, gunning down everyone sticking out his nose too far and using depleted uranium. So here I'll show you the entire thing here. Here's depleted, uh, depleted uranium. You see the uranium tip here? Well, these are crimes against humanity. I mean, brother, what are you doing here? Go to Ferguson. There's the enemy. What are you doing there? Some more depleted. So you understand why the Islamic State or IS, they are angry. They are very, very angry and they won't forget it because these are massive crimes against humanity what the NATO is doing and uh, massive, massive crimes, you know, children being born without limbs and it's evil. And it's all, the orders are from Switzerland. The Swiss Nazi Templars are on all key positions in the US, including Swiss President Obama from Switzerland. And all this started with a minor litigation between Switzerland and Gaddafi's son. And then Octagon pulled the plug. Here you can see uh, Obama's gene genealogy tree. And here are some of his Swiss ancestors. Here it says the, uh, the Swiss roots of President Barack Obama. They are in Kurtzers in Riyadh, in the canton of Bern. I mean, this is a... Uh, so this was in the newspaper in 2010. So, I mean, <laughs> this is what democracy leaves open, you know? You can just infiltrate with your Swiss fifth column of sleeper cells and go for the key positions, police, army, you can see it happening in Ferguson, with the uh, I am Darren Wilson bracelets. They, they changed their names. I've proven that to you. And they just take uh, hostage of your country. This is what's happening. This is, the Swiss are doing it. Send, send this information all around. You know, and here it says, uh, this uh, genealog genealogy tree proves that Barack Obama is Swiss. It was in the Swiss newspaper. They all figured it out, you know. Here's some more uh, relatives of Barack Obama in Switzerland. Their names are Gutknecht, Meyer, and he even has a um, a um, after a son of a grandson called Lars Meyer. Uh, here with his mother, Anne Dunham. So apparently this Anne Dunham is, she's of, uh, well, it's always by the woman, you know, it's, it's the sisters of Isis. The, uh, the idea, which is the, um, the Holy Spirit, the, the, uh, the Trinity, the Holy Spirit and idea of Isis, it passes over the women, the sisters of Isis, you know. And here's, I suppose this is uh, a YouTube video. And here too it says, Barack Obama is also Swiss. Well, and they pulled the plug, you know, all together here. They pulled the plug to have Muammar Gaddafi liquidated. It was a setup. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. It's very interesting he says exactly this, because this has already happened, and he must know this, otherwise he wouldn't say it. He is initiated. This is fifth column, Swiss sleeper cells, 
And he's going, he's preparing you here. The Swiss always have their dirty little, little fingers in it somehow and somewhere. So far, I hadn't been able to give you the academic proofs of the Pharaonic translations I've presented to you all, simply because I can't get hold of my old university books for safety reasons, and I have no money to buy any new ones. But finally, after a long search, I found a compromise of 24 pages with different hieroglyphic characters put together, giving some understandable sense and pronunciation and surprisingly some of the words I've given to you, which I'll show at the end of this video. So with these d demotic pronunciations, also called hieratic, you can start translating your own words, find the hidden secrets and tell me about it. Pharaonic is not a dead language, but rather a secret language of that worldwide per a, big house nobility used by the Freemasons, secret societies in their castles and uh, during their horrific rituals being the very reason that this otherwise so incredibly advanced civilization used such infantile childish drawings for their hieroglyphs there were for the temples only showing all sorts of animals birds snakes cats and reptiles so the spirits can read them and mobilize the animals' powers of this earth, also for reasons as to materialize themselves and other entities by. Additionally, with the earth's animal spirits using the elements as water, fire, air and earth, in these not really childish hieroglyphs, simply images attract spirits more powerful and much easier. And each hieroglyph has a specific sound to it used for new political waves as B, G, Da, or new centers of the accumulated power as A, Me, Ri, Ka, thus fueled by dark rituals and horrific sacrifices to guide the energy with. I could tell you much more about this black magic, but for my own safety I'd rather stop here. And by the way, this is why serious Muslims are not allowed depictions of people and other living creatures in their houses. But most Muslims don't know and don't want to know this, as there are not many serious Muslims, just as there are not many serious Christians, Buddhists, uh, or whatever. And this is why the very few serious Muslims, as the Salafists, are being aimed at by the Pharaonic Pegida, because they understand too much about the spiritual world of which the majority and all running after the material don't have a clue about, and therefore are in no danger to be targeted. Pharaoh is real, and so are their dark rituals and their language. Just listen to the sound of evil. Am Himwanias Yeah, I 
mi guanias para an yuna ya suanias jasaf ya no wapot yo tiaraf su ana wanias har par pa af na hinas u ot shai wor an shaspa him taf har mi hanat worit an hasif naf su mohod zuru har mas khats hanu Sounds like Swiss German, doesn't it? With those, with these ch sound, which you rarely find in any other language. It really sounds like Swiss German, you know, with this ch, a sound that the German language doesn't even have, you know. So, well, it's the base of all evil. They're never in a war, all the money is there. <laughs> the Templars, the Freemasons came out of it. Well, of Yama, your a heart, your Zahan way pit, your or ochti, to a hot ochti, your ma, her yaw, your Zahan way pit, yam one years, to off your ma, your a heart, her yaw, your Zahan way pit, yam one years, to off your ma, her her ochti, her yaw. Wanias he no cut off, and ha wanias he no cut off, but off her off, am saf mo off, ab off, ma chart off. So here are some hieroglyphs I found to show it to you. Here it says the last word, you know, pe gi da. Diza, it means this. And these are the hieroglyphs. Here it says pe, pe. And then here, so this, and then gi, that means to lie in German. The world of lies, pe, pe gi. And here, it says the land, the, or the world. Well, it doesn't say world here, but it does mean world as well. So, Peggy, the, it means the world of lies, as I told you. Like here, we got the word Kume for Egypt, plus the hieroglyphs of it. Here is the Per'a. I was quite surprised I found it even in this thing here. And here it says Me for pyramid, but it's also mer and meru. Here is a for pregnant, which is also big. Schwanger, it means pregnant. And um, this is the word for the sun here. Mm. Ri, that says the sun. And here's the sun hieroglyph, the round thing, as I've shown you in many of my videos. And well, there are many more words like. I think car and buy you'll find in the internet, you know. So, well, 
I finally found you those proofs here. Uh, well, there it is. It's alphabetically. Uh, that's all I can do for you at the moment. It's in German, unfortunately. I'll just punch pause if you want to have a look at a word and uh, where you, can tr you can translate it like into English. That's all I can do for you. Pyramid me, that's what I told you, like in America. The human is Rame, like a Hare Rama, you know, like the Hare Krishna. It's all you know, you can all find it back in the old languages, you know. Like in Sanskrit. So very infantile pictures, but this is the sort of thing, you know, the spirits, they understand, apparently. They're all like elements and animals from our planet. Quite funny, eh, about this highly developed civilization was still in charge and where the aristocracy is from. They're everywhere. See my, my film, Fairistocracy, and the Pharaoh Show, and Octagon, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, it's all, it's, it's all in there. And it gets very dangerous, you know, apparently. And here's that Swiss cop again, grabbing for me.